Hey there folks and welcome to this video. Here I'm just going to talk quickly about Formula 1 because a lot of people came to this channel for the past couple of years because I was talking about F1 drivers dealing ahead of races and well 2022 that doesn't happen. So this is just a boilerplate kind of why isn't that happening anymore? You can find a link down below as well as for any other previous political vids I did to do with F1 and to put a long story short F1 decided they didn't want to do it anymore. They thought We Race One had run its due course, well, publicly, and so said, oh, we're going to focus on behind-the-scenes stuff, putting some money in in some places. But they still did do some kind of gesture today to show some kind of social, social consciousness, and it's, it's part of this new effort they've got with UNICEF to donate money to... The humanitarian crisis is happening as a result of what's going on currently in Ukraine. Which, it's a good message to have. The drivers already had their own initiative to it. The kind of no war message they had put out ahead of the season. And so, much like we raised this one, F1 is simply following what the drivers have decided to do. Because the drivers are, unironically, um, the driving force for any kind of social change or consciousness within Formula 1. So much like it was up to the Grand Prix Drivers Association at the time of Sebastian Vettel and Romain Grosjean at the head um, to arrange things such as drivers kneeling ahead of races in the first couple of occasions. Um, it's been because of the drivers at F1 have looked at doing something like this. And to be fair, when it comes to talking about the ongoing conflict or special operation or war, however you choose to describe it, it has been declared almost as a war by both sides. It is still being touted in the Russian press as a special operation and um, in addition to that it is seen as a conflict it is a conflict you got two nations in conflict with each other um, yeah this is the most F1 can do without being seen as partisan UNICEF is non-partisan or as much as it can be and it's focused on the humanitarian angle which if you're an international organisation is the most you can do, really, talk about the victims of war rather than the war in and of itself. Now, you could easily say, should F1 still do this when they race in Saudi Arabia? That's a good question. Especially considering the ongoing military intervention in Yemen by Saudi Arabia. You could say the same thing about Azerbaijan with Armenia. You could say the same thing about places like Turkey. Um, there, there are a lot of places F1 go to where you can talk about it and I think it's right to I think the fact that there are so many places you can talk about it means that you should rather than we just shouldn't which is what the reaction response tends to be tends to be oh but this happens around the world so we shouldn't talk about it no it happens around the world so we should talk about it all the more but yeah you're coming here to see why F1 drivers not leaning and oh no, is it the end of the world or something? No. F1 was never going to be a driving force for change. In fact, the bigger changes that have happened in regards to diversity and inclusion in motorsport have happened as a result of the likes of Sir Lewis Hamilton, through pressure by M Mercedes, and through initiatives that are championed by like Sebastian Vettel. It's not F1. F1 are putting some money towards it, but not much. They're putting some opportunities in there, but not much. But then, this is the world we live in. And if you want to see this change, if you want to see this change happening in the world, you want to see these kinds of things happening for forces for good, the best thing you can do is continue to apply the pressure. Tell them that's what you want them to do. Because at the same time, the likes of Stefano Domenicali say F1 continues to be a force for good. Or well, they believe it will be when they race in places like Qatar and Saudi Arabia. They believe it could be this big reformer. Or at least that's what they say. They play lip service to that idea. I'll talk more about it another time because, well, you might want to be going to enjoy the race. But F1's not doing that. It's not, because if it was, it would be 
putting it in some kind of metric where it says, well, you'd have gay rights, rights for women, because there are some countries where rights for women is in question. Uh, rights for refugees, you'd say that they're not in an ongoing conflict. Um, they would be allowed to find as a special operation or as a full-blown war. And there would be a lot of countries that fail that. But if it really wants to be this kind of force for change, it says you sign up to this charter if you want to hold a race. And those are my thoughts. And as always, thank you for watching.